it breaks all of the unspoken criteria for airbrushing. Uh, it's simple to use, it's not expensive, and it's easy to clean. Uh, also, it's called a spray gun, so like when you use it, you feel like 100% more gangsta immediately, and it's like it's really hard to put a price tag on that. In today's uh, video, I want to talk about and review the Badger 250-2 spray gun, which sounds super technical and high-tech, but really it's as beginner-friendly as can be. Uh, I've talked about this banger of a tool before. Uh, I've been using it for quite a while now, but the last uh, article I posted about that was roughly five years ago, and I thought that the spray gun deserved an update. So this is really just to put all of this information from the past uh, previous like three uh, articles or so in the previous video uh, into one uh, simple place. And really my opinion on the Badger Spray Gun has not really changed, but the quality of the articles and the video uh, has significantly improved, at least I hope. Um, so I think you, you guys deserve it. I, th I think this is probably one of the best thing about the Badger uh, spray gun is that over the course of five years, uh, my opinion on it hasn't really changed, and I'm still using it's the same. I'm still using the same one as, as I did uh, back then, and it's st has stood up great uh, the work of time, and it's truly deserving the title of a workhorse. Which before we get into the this whole. Uh, this whole thing, uh, if you enjoy these kind of videos and if you want to see more, uh, please subscribe because together we can beat the YouTube algorithm into uh, giving this channel some traction. Also, make sure that you comment on what you'd like to see next. I will definitely answer to every single uh, comment, uh, or at least I'll try my best to, and if I forget you, you can send me hate mail. So before we get into these specifics, let me tell you about like how I stumbled on this uh, little airbrush. Um, it was like three days before a tournament and I still had uh, a handful of things to do for myself and a couple of my friends, which sounds like 100% of three days before every single tournament ever, uh, you know, and then my airbrush died on me. Uh, well, like it didn't die because I, I dropped it because I'm clumsy and then the needle uh, bent. So I, at, by that point, like I knew it was... My airbrush at that point was already on its last leg, uh, and that was like just really like the coup de grace, uh, and I just like killed it. So I had an airbrush that was already in the mail, uh, meant to, like it was supposed to arrive like before a tournament, but then it would like it would come later. Uh, so I, I did not feel like go going to the the local like place training store that's like crazy expensive for no reason, and buying like a, a an overpriced airbrush that would be even more overpriced because that them them as thieves um and also for like such like a limited use because like I, I had a new one but at the train store they had this freaking little badger thingy the spray gun it was around 40 dollars or so so i figured you know i'll buy it and then i can just like use it for the next three days and to get myself ready for the tournament and then once my new airbrush shows up i can just you know chuck it in the garbage and never uh use it again if it's a piece of crap, you know, uh, I just, I'd really just needed it for these three days just to get through my models and my friends' model so that we could play this tournament. And boy, was I wrong. That thing was, that thing never went in the garbage, as it turns out. Uh, this thing does uh, the works. Because, uh, you know, here I am five more, five plus years later and still with me. So before we go any further, because I can already some of you uh, hitting the all uh, caps lock, being super angry with me, uh, this is a spray gun. It is not an airbrush equivalent by no means. Uh, they say spray gun. It th that thing is sprays. Um, so what I what I mean by that is that this does not do everything that an airbrush can do. Uh, it's not like the end all be all product. That I I did not like solve miniature painting with this uh, but what it does it does extremely well uh, we're talking like undercoat two-tone primer base coats terrain that is like there is no there's nothing better for any of these and the reason for that is that the spray gun is made for a volume and simplicity and really these techniques 
the, the goal of all of these techniques is to cover a large volume as efficiently as possible. You don't need anything fancy to get, you know, to get black primer on a mini. You don't need anything fancy to cover like a wall that's this large. Another reason is because the way that this thing is made, um, and we'll get more into that later, but the way that this is made primer will not destroy it, and which is which is a problem with like airbrush primer and airbrushes that no matter, you know, no matter, there's no way around it, no matter pri the way primer is made and what it was su it's supposed to do, and the way airbrushes are made and what they're doing, uh, you're gonna wreck your airbrush if you use primer it's there, there's no way around it it's not, it's not you know it's not you it's uh but not the spray gun the spray gun does its own thing very very well so as you can see here the the spray gun is suction fed that means that the paint goes into a cup into the straw before being propelled through the nozzle uh this does require more paint because you need like a certain level in that cup but it also allows you to spray with thicker paint with ease and this is really the one thing that sets it apart as like a beginner friendly tool because this is the hardest thing to figure out with an airbrush is getting the right uh, thinning for your paints or you know being able to, to spray thicker paint without jamming everything and having a bad time. Another reason behind the simplicity is that there is no needle in, in this thing. An airbrush is controlled by a needle. This one you control the width of the spray by screwing and unscrewing the nozzle before you spray. Uh, this, this thing is called basically single action. Uh, sim single action means that your trigger does one thing and one thing only. In an airbrush it would do, you know, you would control the spray with it and you would control the air that's getting shot through. This is single action. When you press the button, the air goes through. This is all that it does. There's there's no setting. There's no nothing fancy. It's on or it's off. Uh, the other thing, a couple of other things are included in this uh, in this kit. You get a hose and you get fittings for the air cans, and these are the sad parts of this uh, this hobby kit. Uh, the hose they provide is really really bad. Uh, it's cheap. It's unreliable. Uh, you should like a hundred percent get like a, a regular. A braided hose and an adapter set. Hoses don't really break the bank because they're not super cheap and then you can use them with any airbrush uh, later on in the same way if you already have an airbrush with a hose you can use that one it's it's almost guaranteed to be better than the one that's included in this kit. So I've included a link to the Badger one uh, in Canada it was the cheaper one even cheaper than unbranded one but again if you have them uh, if you have the, the unbranded one that usually come with airbrushes uh, hoses are not like a a place where you need to buy to buy brand names usually you just go for like the cheaper because the minimum quality required is very low uh the problem is that the one in this kit is like even lower than that so it, and then the other thing here uh is it, it's not included in this kit but like that's the one thing every time i talk about airbrushes i talk about this uh it's the seven piece adapter set here it's a little bag of of goodness i love this thing i think um it's the best ten dollars you will ever spend in like your airbrushers uh, career or lifespan or what what have you. This kit means that you can use basically any compressor with any hose with any airbrush all the time. Uh, there, in all, uh, there's no reason not to get this if you have an airbrush and if you start airbrushing. Uh, this is like ten to fifteen dollars. It's the best. Uh, it's like the airbrush equivalent of a toilet plunger. You want to buy one before you need it. Uh, and then future self, uh, your future self will thank you for it. The other thing included in this kit here is the uh, air can fitting. And it's not, this one is not bad by itself, but uh, air cans are not really great. Uh, basically, instead of a compressor, you, get, you can buy these cans of compressed air. And they use this little fitting there. But it's not really, if you must, it works. Like if, you, you know, if you're in a dire super situation, it's going to work. But it's, it, there's really no great redeeming quality because uh, it's, it's not, you can't customize it. They run out really fast. So it's not really long. It's not even cost savvy because in, v in a very short time, you're going to spend more in air cans than you, than you would in like an actual compressor. So you're not really saving any money. Uh, over this the quality of the the pressure you get basically is just terrible 
Another thing that's pretty cool about the spray gun is that Tamiya paints screw right into the spray gun. Uh, I'll, I'll admit that I've, I've never used this feature uh, because I've never sprayed with Tamiya paints because I don't do a lot of like cars and RC models uh, by myself. But I think it's a really cool feature because if they if if I had an airbrush that could screw in uh, Citadel paints, I'd I'd want that feature. And in the same uh, train of thought, you can buy a case of these little extra containers here uh, with a screw-on cap that that screw on directly into the Badger airbrush, and this allows you to store pre-mixed paints for your spray gun already. So I, I bought a case of of twelve. I bought two cases of twelve. Uh, myself to use for uh, all of the terrain uh, paints that, that I'm using because I'm doing a bulk terrain at the moment I got like a buttload of tables uh, this is neither here nor there but uh, I, I like these just because it's, it's quite simple they're not super expensive for like a case of 12 and they screw directly into the spray gun so it's really easy to use after the overall cost of all of this is pretty low if you have a compressor already uh, you can get the spray gun, the extra O's, the adapter set, and two cases of extra paint pots for less than $100 Canadian, so less than $75 or $70 uh, US, which is pretty affordable for a lot of tools. If you find folks have some, some of those hidden gems uh, of tools that you use that fly under the radar, uh, do let me know about them in the comments because I'd love to learn about them and, and use them. And in the same vain uh, if, if there's like a gadget a technique or life hacks that you'd like me to talk about uh do mention it in the comments i'll do my best to make it happen captain thank you very much for watching everybody and until next time no excuses i'll be like a champion